peace and pan-Africanism, peace and pan-Africanism. Peace and pan-Africanism, peace and pan-Africanism. Peace and pan-Africanism, peace and pan-Africanism. Good Garvey Day to my American Africans, my San Diego Africans, my Sacramento Africans, my Long Beach Africans, my Compton Africans, my South Central Africans, my Hollywood Africans, my Burbank Africans. My peace and pan-Africanism to my Jersey and New York Africans, my Texas and Delaware Africans, my Illinois, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, Africans, peace and pan-Africanism to my Toronto, Nova Scotia, Montreal Africans, my Bermuda, Bahamas, Barbados, St. Croix, St. Lucia, St. Thomas, St. Kitts. St. Martin Africans, my Ghanaian, Nigerian, Basutu, Lesotho, Malawi, Kenya, Angolan, Mozambique, Congolese, Nubian Africans, my British and French and Ireland and German Africans, my Africans in Asia, the South Pacific, Australia, my Costa Rica, Suriname Africans, my Panama, Brazil Africans, Brothers and sisters, first of all, I want to say happy Ethiopian New Year to all my Ethiopian brothers and sisters. Make some noise. Where are all my Ethiopian brothers and sisters at one time? Where are all my Ethiopian brothers and sisters at one time? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Addis Ababa, Bahir Dar, Lalabella, Aksum. Where are all my Ethiopian Africans on this Ethiopian New Year? Where are all of my Ethiopian Africans on this Ethiopian New Year? 911 is Ethiopian New Year, brothers and sisters. Happy Ethiopian New Year. But this is what I want to say. I'm not finished watching. I have not yet finished watching the entire debate. I probably saw about one hour of the debate but one thing should be absolutely clear to the American African branch of the universal African kingdom one thing should be absolutely clear to all members of the American African village of the universal African kingdom and that one thing that should be clear to all American Africans so far from what I've saw Neither party, neither candidate, neither platform, neither agenda is concerned at all about the plight or the blight of the American African people. Do you understand, overstand and understand what the Prince of Pan-Africanism is saying to you right now? Do you understand, overstand and understand what the Prince of Pan-Africanism is saying to you? Do you understand, overstand, and understand what the Prince of Pan-Africanism is saying? They didn't touch on nothing that was critically relevant to the American African people. Now, the Democratic Party plantation slaves and the Republican Party plantation slaves, they're going to try to exaggerate the things that were said in an attempt to keep you in the illusion of inclusion. They're going to take out things that Donald Trump said, the Republican Party plantation slaves and the Democratic Party plantation slaves. They're going to take out little sound bites from Kamala Harris and they're going to blow those up. They're going to magnify certain talking points. They're going to magnify them by a hundred times in size to try to make the American African family believe that Kamala Harris was somehow talking to you. They're gonna to try to make the American African family believe that somehow former President Trump was talking to you. Neither one of them, neither one of them addressed anything that was relevant to African people. Now don't get me wrong. I believe they have another debate or two to go and they might get desperate in the final days and throw American Africans a verbal political bone. You might get thrown 
a couple of chicken bones in the final debate. You might get thrown some watermelon rind in the final debate. You might get thrown some pork chop scraps in the final debate. When it's close to election day, that final debate, I think they might throw you some chicken bones and a couple drops of Kool-Aid to make sure you turn up and turn out on election day. But let us be clear. Israel was more important than you. Let us be clear. The immigrants were more important than you. Ukraine is more important than you. Everything is more important than the American African. So why are we crashing out? Why are we crashing out for the red car or the blue car? Why are we crashing out for the red wing or the blue wing when they both belong to the same corrupt ass Caucasian chicken wing? I said, why are we crashing out for the red wing or the blue wing when they both belong to the same corrupt ass Caucasian chicken wing, brothers and sisters? We can't fight each other over white people's agendas. The most honorable Marcus Garvey turning in his grave. Turning in his grave. Ida B. Wells turning in a grave. Even W.E.B. Du Bois turning in his grave. We crashing out over two parties that have never had the best interests of American African people at their heart. Come on now. Brothers and sisters, we need to get focused on how we're going to save ourselves because no matter who wins the election, black America is losing regardless. I don't care how you cut the cake. Donald Trump is no blessing. Kamala Harris is no blessing. They couldn't even bring up the Tyreek Hill situation that's all over the media. I mean, come on, Donald and Kamala. Come on, Donald and Kamala. Y'all can't even bring up the Tyreek Hill situation that's all over the news. We not even going to talk about Tyreek Hill being brutalized by immigrant police. We're not even going to talk about Tyreek Hill being brutalized by immigrant police. And y'all keep talking about black and brown. Well, Tyreek Hill was brutalized by brown police. But the Democratic Party plantation slaves are quiet. And D.L. Hughley isn't off the hook. He's, he agreed to my debate. I'm still waiting on a date and time for D.L. Hughley to meet me at the most honorable John Jock Dessalines and the most honorable Nat Turner Gymnasium of the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy. You ain't off the hook, D.L. You ain't off the hook, Steve Harvey. You ain't off the hook, my brother Ricky Smiley. I love my big brothers. We not beefing. But we have to have an intellectual samurai session. I said we need an intellectual samurai session. Because after last night's debate, I want to know how y'all still selling either candidate to black folks. After last night's debate, how you selling either candidate to black folks? And I'm going to be honest with y'all. My American African family, and I want the universal African kingdom to listen to this. Because the whole planet Earth is the kingdom of Africa, but the continent of Africa is the royal palace. I said the whole planet Earth is the kingdom of Africa. Wherever you go, there you are. The whole planet is the kingdom of Africa, but the continent is the royal palace. See how that works? Wherever you are, we are within the kingdom of Africa, but the continent is the royal palace. Some of us want to relocate, repatriate, and be at the royal palace. Some of us want to stay 
across the kingdom of the planet Earth, the Grand African Kingdom, the choice is yours. Make sure you be on the lookout for the new Canons class interview with King Kong Consciousness. Make sure you be on the lookout for the new council culture interview conversation with Dr. Umar and brother Nick Cannon. And make sure you be on the lookout for the We Play in Spades episode. Make sure you be on the lookout for the new We Play in Spades episode with your brother Nick Cannon and the notorious RBG. Brothers and sisters, when are we going to have some conventions to organize ourselves? Because I'm telling you right now, when the media stops discussing you, when the media stops discussing you, I'm telling you right now, you better understand, overstand, and understand what the notorious RBG is saying to you. The media historically has desecrated and assassinated the image of black people. That's the job of the media to destroy your global representation, your global reputation and image. That's the job. And they got a lot of help from black women on reality shows. And they got a lot of help from these goofy ass gangster rappers. I said the American media got a lot of help destroying black people's image and reputation from these goofy ass gangster rappers and from these black women on these reality shows. We helped them desecrate the image. But guess what, American Africans? Once the media blacks out you comp when you are no longer a topic on CNN at all, when you are no longer a topic on C-SPAN and NBC and CBS and Fox News, when they stop discussing you altogether because it's coming, when you no longer get a little story on USA Today or the New York Times or the New York Post or the LA Times, the Philadelphia Daily News, when you no longer are covered at all, you know what that means, right? That means we are planning a great assassination, a great purge and genocidal campaign against the African people. This is one of the reasons George Bush started the gentrification movement that Barack Obama did nothing about. They had to get black people out of the inner cities. That's why they gentrifying you. They can't wholesale slaughter you in a big city because it will get attention. They gotta get black people out of the inner cities. And since we love living around white folks, since we follow white people wherever they go, it was easy to get us out the inner cities because you love being close to your slave master. It's a plantation hang up. We don't like to go too far from a slave master. We like to keep our quarters close to the master in case he needs us. So they knew you would follow them out to the suburbs. They knew that they could trade places with you quite easily because they can lead you anywhere and you will go. So the gentrification is the setup for the mass extermination. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. The fact that not a single black issue was discussed last night. That's a cause for concern. Sooner or later, there will be a complete media blackout on black people's issues. Oh, yes, it's coming. Because the revolution of black extermination will not be televised. The revolution of black exclusion will not be televised. Yes, I'm George Floyd. I'm Breonna Taylor. I'm Trayvon Martin. I'm Sandra Bland. I'm Sonia Massey. I'm Dante. I'm Amir Locke. I'm Philando Castile, Freddie Gray, Michael Brown, Tamir Rice. I am my people. I am my ancestors.
Now they're going to use brown people to start oppressing Africans, Latinos and East Indians. I'm not talking about my Latino Africans, your family. I'm not talking about my full-time identifying Latino Africans, your family. I'm talking about the rest of the Latinos and the East Indians. They will be the new oppressors. What you saw with Tyreek Hill is the beginning. What you saw with Tyreek Hill being brutalized by brown people, people of color, Latinos, immigrants, what you saw with Tyreek Hill is just the beginning. You ain't seen nothing yet. The new go-between will be the Browns. The new proxy between the oppressor and the American African slave will be the brown people. Since we like saying black and brown so much, since we love saying black and brown so much, since we love saying black and brown so much, you're going to pay for all that integration talk. You're going to pay for all that people of color talk. We did people of color ourselves into a dangerous corner. We have people of color ourselves into a dangerous corner. We have people of color ourselves into a dangerous corner. We have brown and blacked ourselves into a dangerous corner. We have brown and blacked ourselves into a dangerous corner. That brother who was murdered in D.C., what's his name? Justin Robinson. If you live in Washington, D.C., please keep Dr. Umar abreast of the protests and other political actions that are being taken to bring justice to Justin Robin, my deep Robinson, my deepest condolences to his friends, family, and community. I need a I am Justin Robinson. They still killing us. Somebody said he was unconscious in his car and they still shot him dead. See, there's two questions that Donald and Kamala refused to ask. Justice for our brother, Justin Robinson. Washington, D.C. Africans, make sure you text me some updates and some flyers. 215-989-9858. Washington, D.C. Africans, please keep me abreast of what's going on in the Justice for Justin Robinson campaign, 215-989. Do not DM me. I get too many of them. If it's a serious message, it's called text message and email. I got a million Instagram inbox messages. If it's serious, you will send a text message. You will send an email. And I'm going to leave it at that. Two questions we need answered from Kamala and Donald. Number one, is it perfectly acceptable for police to kill black people in mental crisis? We ain't got this question answered yet. The Association of Black Psychologists, the Association of Black Psychiatrists are not demanding an answer. Is it legal for police to kill Africans, American Africans, during the course of a mental health crisis. They're killing mentally ill blacks and nobody is getting any clarity as to how this is protected or unprotected by law. That's number one. Number two, Donald and Kamala, is it legal or illegal to kill a black person in their car in possession of a firearm who is not pointing it, who is not holding it, who is not threatening to use it. From what I understand, Justin Robinson was unconscious in his car. They claim the weapon was on his lap. But if he was unconscious in the car, if he's not holding it, I know they're lying saying he picked it up. The footage don't show that. I didn't see. When I looked at the footage, I never saw the brother with the gag gun in his hand. And all due respect to the queen sister, police chief of D.C., no disrespect, my beautiful African queen. I love you. Much respect to your family. But you're a gatekeeper. I mean, can we just be honest? You're a gatekeeper. If you are a mayor, a police chief, city, you're a gatekeeper. 
No disrespect, you are a gatekeeper. No disrespect, I love you, sister, but you're just in a position where you can't tell the truth. The biggest mafia in America is the police, and the second biggest mafia in America is the teachers. The biggest secret society in America is the police, followed by the teachers. Snow puppies and snow bunnies. But if the police pull me over and there's a gun in the car, how are they authorized to take my life when I have a right to bear arms, I have a right to carry a gun, how are they authorized to take my life if I'm not brandishing it or using it? Can we get an answer, Kamala Harris? Can we get an answer, Donald Trump? Brothers and sisters, I got to go. But I want to see all my New Jersey Africans on Sunday, God willing. I want to see all my New Jersey Africans Sunday, September the 15th at the Source of Knowledge Bookstore in Newark, New Jersey. That is Sunday from 12 until 6. There is a free black book giveaway. Bring your children. Free black book giveaway. Bring your children to 867 Broad Street in Newark, New Jersey this Sunday, September the 15th from 12 until 6. Dr. Umar will bless the mic with a certified school psychologist back to school message for our parents. King Kong Consciousness will bless the mic at 2 p.m. with a certified school psychologist back to school message for black parents. You don't have to live in New Jersey. Come on over, New York. Come on down, Connecticut. Come on up, Pennsylvania. This is a pan-African thing. We don't do borders. We do black power. We don't identify with the white man's borders. We don't deal in borders. In Africa, we don't deal in borders. What part of Africa you come from? I come from Africa. That's all you need to know. And then I want to see my HBCU Edward Waters University students in Jacksonville, Florida, the last Thursday of September. I want to see my HBCU Edward Waters University, Jacksonville, Florida family on Thursday, September the 26th. If you live in North Florida. I need you to pull up with me to HBCU Edward Waters University in Jacksonville, Florida on Thursday, September the 26th at 7 p.m. And I will have copies of Black Parent Advocate. I will have copies of Black Parent Advocate. I will have copies of Black Parent Advocate. If you need to reach me, lectures, workshops, prison visits, juvenile detention visits, halfway house visits, domestically abused shelter visits, homelessness shelter visits. If you need me for seminars, if you need me to marry you in your wedding, conventions, conferences, keynotes, graduations, you know how to reach me. Plus one, two, one, five. Plus one, two, one, five. Plus one two one five nine eight nine nine eight five eight or D R U M A R J O H N S O N at Yahoo. D R U M A R J O H N S O N at Yahoo. Hit the cash app dollar sign F D M G school. Hit the cash app dollar sign F D M G school. Hit the PayPal, PayPal.me slash F D M G Academy. I got three podcasts I'm working on. There will be Date with the Doctor podcast, reality show with the sisters. Date with the Doctor reality show podcast is coming. Oh, yes. We also have the Black Wives Matter podcast where I'm going to do live relationship counseling with men and women. If you and your wife, your baby mama, baby daddy, fiance, husband, your partner, if y'all having issues, y'all could come on the Black Wives Matter Relationship Counseling Podcast with the King Kong. Oh, yes. 
It's time to get serious. My under 30 year old black political convention, the dates will be coming out soon. My under 30 year old black political convention, the dates will be coming out soon. My under 30 year old black political convention, the dates will be coming out soon. Black queens forever, snow bunnies never. Black queens forever, snow bunnies never. I said black butter almond queens, black butter pecan queens, black warm peanut butter queens, black butterscotch queen, black fudge queen, black cinnamon queen, black sweet brown sugar queen, black pistachio, black walnut, black almond queens. It's black queens forever, snow bunnies never.